This is Financial Independence with Colin Richards and David Thompson. Colin is president and founder of Lord & Richards, a financial practice that has built a reputation for integrity and helped hundreds of people retire with peace of mind in the process. Time now for Financial Independence. Hey friends, it's David Thompson alongside Colin Richards of Lord & Richards. Colin and his team have been helping people with their retirements here in the Denver area for many, many years. So welcome to our show, Financial Independence with Colin Richards. Before we get started, if you'd like to talk with Colin and his team, give him a call at 720-636-8861. So if we were to turn the calendar back for a second to the 1970s and 80s, we would recall it was a time of spiking oil prices, double-digit interest rates, and of course, skyrocketing inflation. The cost of goods and services in the U.S. increased by 11%, 13%, and 10% in three consecutive years in the late 1970s and early 80s. Well, inflation is nowhere near those levels today, thank goodness, Colin. Still, why is this such a concern for today's retirees? Well, hey, Dave, before I talk about inflation, you referenced the 70s and 80s. I think the economic collapse really was due to the fashion of that period. (laughs) (laughs) The the fashion and maybe the disco music. (laughs) No, I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. bell bottoms, clang, clang, clang everywhere you're walking. (laughs) So I really think that underlies all the economic problems. Carter's famous terminology, the malaise, you know, Mm -hmm. goes back to that era. But Let's talk about one of the side effects of the fashion bubble, which was inflation. (laughs) (laughs) And there were double digit years back then, as you mentioned. And let me just get started by saying a lot of people are asking about this issue and have been asking about it for a number of years. Mm -hmm. And I think you have to go back to why are they asking this question? Why is inflation on so many people's minds? Well, it's because of this historic low period of inflation that we've enjoyed for many years. And to be candid, a lot of people know that the Fed has been tinkering with rates, attempting to keep inflation low. Mm -hmm. The Fed doesn't, they're not magical and not everything they do works, but this low inflation environment has been in part because of the low interest rate environment. Right. And And I think they're tinkering with it still. I mean, they just did some a couple months ago and they're not done. Oh, yeah. What was it with the Wizard of Oz? You know, uh, there's don't worry about the man behind the curtain. (laughs) (laughs) That's what's happening. The wizard is behind the curtain, but it is a concern. I reassure my clients so consistently that if you have a long term view, then inflation is probably not going to be a problem if you build a portfolio designed to withstand it over the long haul. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, if it spikes to 11, 12, 13 percent over a period of a few years, that historically has been temporary. Even when we go all the way back to the early 1900s and the Great Depression, eventually it returns to the norm. The key is, is your portfolio designed so that you can tolerate a period of extended hyperinflation several years and not have to go back to work? Mm -hmm. So inflation can pose some very real challenges to us in retirement. And you've kind of touched on some of the answer to what I'm asking. There are steps that we can take today to help protect ourselves and our nest egg from these challenges, yes? And if so, what should we be aware of in terms of inflation and its potential impact as we plan for retirement? Well, you said the magic word, retirement. And at Lord & Richards, our true focus is on people who are preparing for Mm -hmm. or actually in retirement. We want to get you there. And then once you're there, we want to keep you there unless Mm -hmm. you actually enjoy your work and want to stay in it longer. That aside, let's not let inflation be one of those risks that derails the plan. The American College of Financial Services published a report on risks in retirement. They actually came up with 18. (laughs) I was shocked (laughs) when I saw that list. 18 threats. Wow. And any one of them can harpoon a retirement. Mm -hmm. I was just at a workshop last night conducting a workshop, and I know sometimes we want to encourage ourselves by telling ourselves that we've addressed the issues of retirement. But what I find consistently, David, in my interviews with people is that they're not looking at all of them. They're just looking at the ones that are dominating the headlines. Mm -hmm. You know, how's the market doing? Are we due for a correction? That's important. That's one risk out of 18. You've got interest rate risk. What do you do when a spouse's income ends because you've lost somebody? Perhaps part of your social security is gone. Right. What about healthcare? There are so many of them and so few you can control. And it's really a combination of risks that are really probably hurting most of us, if not all of us. 
That's right. The combination is, what do they say? The whole is greater than the sum of the parts. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I was just reading just today about healthcare costs and how the healthcare costs really is going to take a hit with inflation. So that can even hamper even more of your retirement nest egg in terms of how much you want to save every month. And as the year progresses, all of a sudden, healthcare issues that are rising, all of a sudden, healthcare costs today, 10 years from now, could be triple, quadruple that. Who knows? And that's where it's really kind of risky, like they say in terms of what we don't know. That's why they call inflation the silent killer. Can you talk about why inflation is considered such a major risk then to our retirement income? Well, to start with, let's bear in mind what inflation is. It's when the price of things we pay for goes up, Mm -hmm. goods, services, and it does it over time. And it's natural. It's not a bad thing because it's reflecting growth and expansion. The Fed is concerned about inflation, but they're even more concerned about deflation and things shrinking. But what happens as a byproduct is as goods and services increase in price, the purchasing power of your dollar doesn't go as far as it used to. It's part of looking at the whole picture. We're picking at this one issue. As we said earlier, it's one of 18 clearly identifiable risks. And those aren't all the things that we want to look at in retirement because it's not just the bad things, the risks. Proactively, we want to set our clients up so that they're enjoying life. Mm -hmm. And so whether it's concern about inflation or just when should I retire or, you know, when should I take Social Security, whatever it is, that can be difficult. When you try to put together all these little pieces yourself, it can be, frankly, overwhelming. But the good news is, David, that my team, Robert, Rob, Jason, the whole group, John, we're a deep bench when it comes to retirement planning, taxes, specialties and income, all the things that retirees need to get solved. And we call it a complimentary financial independence review. And folks who will take advantage of this offer today can call us at 720-636-8861. That's 720-636-8861. And whether you already have a retirement plan and you just want to get a second opinion, or you're getting started and you want to make sure you can get retired and stay retired, inflation or whatever other risks set aside, we want to get you there and we want to keep you there. Give us a call, 720-636-8861 for your complimentary financial independence review. And friends, Colin and his team want to remind you that a retirement dream without a written retirement plan is like a boat without sails. So give Colin and his team a call so you can get that boat afloat and keep it afloat and sailing towards your retirement dream. So that's, again, 720-636-8861. And we're talking about inflation today. Colin, what does the inflation picture look like these days? Well, the annual inflation rate is actually pretty stable right now. I was just looking at it. And as a result of perhaps in some cases, some of the economic reforms, tax reform and so forth, we're plugging away here in 2018, looking like we'll hit an average of a little over 2%. Long term, We've seen that closer to three, but that includes some of those really big years like you talked about in the 70s and 80s. Mm -hmm. But setting those aside, when we build a plan, one of the things we want to remember is you've got to account for increasing your budget every single year from now all the way to the end of life. I have a lot of smarty pants clients (laughs) in my (laughs) workshop last night. Two of my clients were there. They're engineers. I had their kids there. They're educators. They're teachers. We've got other folks that are mathematicians and scientists and PhDs. But I tell you what, every time I take a look at one of those do-it-yourself plans, what I find is folks have their specialties and it's usually not retirement planning. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And this is one of the top things that folks forget to add in. They'll say, well, if I have a million dollars, I'll take 5% a year. That's 50,000. That'll cover my budget. Uh, uh, uh. Don't forget that 50,000 at an average rate of 3% is going to be double the budget by the end of your retirement. So we've got to prepare to move you along, whether it's the cost of milk or energy or any other costs, we want to be prepared for that well in advance in your written plan. Yeah. Some things you just can't figure out with a slide rule. That's right. (laughs) Or one of those compasses. I Mm -hmm. I like the compasses because you could, you know, poke the kids in front of you in math class with them. (laughs) Right. So how can we then project how much income we might need in the future um, if we don't know how much things are going to cost in 20 or 30 years? Well, we're going to take an average because over time things do tend to settle into averages, but we're going to be flexible. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we do at Lord & Richards is we build you a long-term segment. We call it a sleeve 
for your portfolio to generate income. Within that sleeve, we put income generating vehicles designed to take the worry and the concern out, whether it's your pension, whether it's your social security or guaranteed vehicles like annuities and so forth, whether it's a bond dividend, we want to have a steady, consistent stream of income. But when inflation spikes, we want to be prepared with a significant liquid reserve that's not tied into your ordinary income, but is available to raise your income during those difficult years when inflation spikes. So that if your budget does go up significantly because maybe gas shot way up or maybe the cost of chicken went through the sky and you don't want to stop eating chicken, we've got these additional <laughs> dollars as part of a reserve. Now that reserve, we call it a midterm sleeve. It's going to do more than just cover you on inflation. It's got some other goals, but we'll save that for another day. <laughs> so yeah. when it comes to planning, the first step is often the hardest. But if we think 20 or so years in the future, wow, that's overwhelming. What's life going to be like? Well, the good news is that Lord and Richards, we're kind of like Sherpas, you know, Mount Everest and the Himalayas is over there. And if you're going to climb a mountain, you better have an experienced guide who's taken hundreds and hundreds of people before you. And that's what we want to do. We want to help you take that journey and do it safely and be able to get to the top and say, here I am. I'm retired. I'm financially independent. Mm. Well, look at all the details. Oh, trust me, if you check out our website at lordandrichards.com, you'll find a great video where we describe our process in, in quite a bit of detail. Mm -hmm. Social security benefits, how much risk you're taking, are you tax efficient? And then we're going to help you get that customized plan. Give us a call, 720-636-8861, 720-636-8861. We've been talking about the impact of inflation on finances in general. But this issue is especially relevant to people who are in or near retirement. So do you know why? Find out when Colin tackles the basics of where inflation can sting the most. That's next. You're listening to Financial Independence with Colin Richards. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Now, you are endowed by our creator to pursue a life of happiness, but happiness is not guaranteed, not now, and not in your retirement years. Are you going to have the money you need in retirement to visit your grandkids or take those trips that you've always dreamed about? And most importantly, will you have the money you need to stay retired or do you have to go back to work? Now, Colin Richards and the team at Lord & Richards have helped thousands of people in the Denver area create a happy, independent retirement. Colin is a financial professional professional who will create your financial independence roadmap for you that will show you the ways to a happy retirement so you can stay retired. Call now, schedule an appointment with Colin and his team at Lord & Richards, 720-636-8829. Get your financial independence roadmap right now. Now, over 200 years ago, we celebrated the first Independence Day. Make every day Independence Day when you're retired, 720-636-8829. Investment advisory services offered only by duly registered individuals through AE Wealth Management LLC. This is Financial Independence with Colin Richards. You're listening to Financial Independence with Colin Richards. To reach Colin, simply call 720-636-8861. That's 720-636-8861 or online at lordandrichards.com. So we're discussing the impact inflation can have on a person's purchasing power in retirement and some of the steps people can take to help keep pace with it. Uh, well, Colin, why should retirement-minded people pay such close attention to inflation? I mean, what's at stake? Well, retirees especially, David, are really vulnerable because the kinds of expenses that retirees have and the kinds of needs that they rely on tend to be related to more fixed things. So, you have to consider what it will take to maintain your current standard of living as the price of goods and services continue to rise. You mm. know, if your income is kind of level, then you've got to find a strategy to make that income go up every year to deal with the impact of inflation. That makes sense. So in what ways can inflation impact a person who's near or already in retirement? Well, again, the dollar gets worth less and less each year that passes. And so growth is going to be critical to maintain the value of that dollar so you can keep living the same lifestyle. If you don't, it would mean potentially getting rid of things that you're used to enjoying, you know, a little round of golf, enjoying the grandkids, those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Sometimes folks will meet me, and of course this is before we go through the planning process, 
And it's almost like they've resigned themselves to this, David. It's not a happy thought. You know, maybe they're getting close to 70 and they feel like they're not adequately prepared. Mm -hmm. And they start talking to me about what they're going to get rid of in their life so that they can afford to live when they stop working. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a that's a negative conversation yeah. we want to have. So, or we don't want to have that conversation. What we want to have a conversation about is how can you keep seeing the grandkids? You know, that is, unless your grandkids are a pain, right. <laughs> in which case, how can you take extra trips to the Riviera or whatever it is that you enjoy? <laughs> Additionally, if you don't have discretionary income during retirement, you're going to start feeling that sting. You know, you remember I said, we're going to build a portfolio that includes, yes, a guaranteed income stream as part of that. We've got social security and other sources taking care of that, but then we're also going to have a flexible reserve for those discretionary things. And it can feel tough, you know, as I've met with people who feel trapped into their budget, you know, they want to attend a reunion or maybe they just want to eat nice or go out to eat and be with friends. Mm -hmm. We don't want you there. And then finally, the kinds of services and goods that retirees need to plan for tend to be heavily impacted by retirement, such as health care. As a retiree, you're really getting to that point in life where you can't afford to absorb these sudden spikes in expenses, whether it's health care or your food budget or your energy. And so you've got to be financially ahead of that curve. Mm -hmm. And you know what that takes? That takes a written plan. I love to ask people, do you have a written plan to make sure you don't run out of income before you run out of life? And wait, before you answer, I'm not talking about a product. I'm not talking about, you know, something in your head. I'm talking about a plan that accounts for the rising cost of living, that increases your expenses every year as part of the plan, not just as an emergency, mm -hmm. and then provides the income that you need to take care of that. At Lord & Richards, when my team and I sit down with you, we're going to take you through a simple process. It's called our financial independence review. We're going to check your risk level see if it matches up with what you would like to see in your portfolio. We're going to check the ability of your portfolio to sustain your lifestyle from now all the way to the end. And also to make sure that those that you leave behind, your loved ones are taken care of, your spouse and so forth. And so as we sit down and talk with you, it's a great conversation about your needs, your goals, your desires, your wants. Give us a call, 720-636-8861. Bring the car to the curb and write this number down. <laughs> Drop that item into your basket at Home Depot. I know you're listening on your phone with your headset. Okay, just write this down, 720-636-8861. And, of course, we'd love for you to check out more about what we do at lordandrichards.com. And, friends, what the people at Lord & Richards do, it's not just about understanding the costs, but they also understand values, and that's really the heart of where we're at and, and they understand values of what you're looking for in retirement. So Colin, are there certain industries or sectors of the economy? I mean, where inflation is higher than others? Well, I alluded to the healthcare industry. That's a big one. Mm -hmm. And so let's focus in on that it, for a moment. Probably the biggest. Yeah. And it's bigger than I thought. Honestly, mm -hmm. I keep an eye on this. And, you know, a few years ago, back in 2005, Normal health care for a couple, a retired couple, age 65, was projected to run about $190,000 over their lifetime. That's not including nursing home, chronic illness, that kind of thing. It's just the normal cost of aging. Well, today that number is over $250,000 and rising. And I just read a report where in some cases, some people are seeing over $300,000, again, without long-term care. Wow. And in addition, here's the problem. <laughs> The U.S. Department of the Actuary projects healthcare costs are going to speed up mm -hmm. in, in the rate of increase. They're projecting 6% increases over the next decade. That's enormous. Three times the normal rate of inflation. That's, how do you plan for that? Yeah, that's huge. Yeah. And so how important then is it to have a plan in place to deal with that long-term care or the nursing home costs? I mean, I mean, that's where it hits home with me. Yeah. You and I both have experienced this in our families, David. So when the normal health care costs are that high and we're having to plan that into a budget, usually mm -hmm. we add oh, about eight or nine hundred dollars a month into a retiree's budget. Plus, we increase that by one point nine five percent per year to keep up with the average rate of inflation. Then you're going to have instead of a long term, more averaged out 
costs, you're going to have the sudden impact of long-term care. And this is a hard one. I tell you, this is hard because when it strikes, it's going to strike 70% of households that are listening in right now. 70% of households wow. are going to need some long-term care. That's devastating, I think. And, and an estimated 58% uh, of women just by themselves and 44% of men are going to need that. So those are incredibly uh, difficult odds. You know, if we were going into surgery and, and we were given the odds that we would have a negative outcome as being, you know, 44, 58, 70%, we'd be very motivated to take a different course probably, right? Right. And it's not getting cheaper. As I mentioned, the average nursing home for a year is going to cost these days over $91,000. And the average stay is between two and a half and four years, depending on whether you're a man or a woman, whether you're single at the time or married. It's amazing how that impacts you. So when it comes to this kind of planning, we've got to get ahead of the curve. Nobody wants to go out and buy expensive long-term care insurance when you're in your 60s. The, the premiums are just incredibly high. So how do we deal with that? Well, one of the things that we determined to do at Lord & Richards, I and my team, we want to get to the point where we're experts in helping people find alternative solutions to long-term care. How can we self-fund? Well, one of the things we don't want to do is self-fund out of an IRA. <laughs> if you pay for your care out of an IRA, you're going to discover that you're going to pay Uncle Sam first. He's number one and then the nursing home second. So it's gonna take you $1.30, $1.40 out of that IRA to pay for your loved one's care. That would be unfortunate because that's gonna deplete your assets very fast. So to get ahead of that, what we do at Lord & Richards as part of our financial independence roadmap is we're gonna build in a strategy where you gradually build your own tax-free pool. I talked earlier about a reserve, yes, for inflation, but here's where it's really critical a tax-free pool of money that you can draw on, and if possible, a leveraged pool where you can take your dollars and put them in and they're worth more if you have care and they're not wasted on a policy where they're going to disappear if you never need the care. So in addition, what we want to do as part of this planning process is sit down for our complimentary financial independence review. We make this so convenient. You know, we'll schedule a time that works for you and your spouse. And we'll sit down and talk about your goals, your dreams, your desires, your fears in some cases. We'll talk about what kind of risk you're comfortable with. And then we'll figure out what kind of risk really you can have capacity for in your portfolio. We'll talk about all of this. Your social security, we'll take a look at your past performance. We'll take a look at your tax situation. And really importantly, we're going to get that income plan to make sure you don't run out of money before you run out of life. Here's the number that you can call to sit down with us and have that consultation. It's totally complimentary. If you've saved up a nest egg for retirement, you're not at the beginning of the process, but you're now at the process where you've got something in hand and you've got to figure out where to put it and what to do with it. Give us a call, 720-636-8861. This is Colin Richards with Lord and Richards, and we're talking about how to achieve financial independence in spite of the inflation concerns out there and the healthcare concerns. Here's that number again, 720-636-8861. And please check us out at lordandrichards.com. You know, whether it's annuities or social security or long-term care, there are a lot of issues to retirement that are like pieces to a jigsaw puzzle. And it can be confusing and complicated if you try to do it yourself. So that's why it's comforting to have people like Colin and his team at Lord & Richards. It's their job to welcome you into their office and help you piece together your financial jigsaw. Now, some advisors might just look at your four corners and piece together what they believe is best for you. But with Colin and his team, they start by asking you to look at the front of the box and ask you what you would like the picture to look like, and then start building the four corners and then piece together your financial masterpiece. It's about service that's catered to your dreams, your needs, your vision, and your legacy. And the neat thing is, when that strategy is being built, you might actually have other dreams. So again, that number, 720-636-8861. You know, even the best laid plans for retirement are subject to the impact of inflation, with inflation eating into your purchasing power over time. So Colin will share more strategies to help you plan around inflation. That's next. You're listening to Financial Independence with Colin Richards. 
Hey, Sean Hannity here. Now, you are endowed by our creator to pursue a life of happiness, but happiness is not guaranteed, not now, and not in your retirement years. Are you going to have the money you need in retirement to visit your grandkids or take those trips that you've always dreamed about? And most importantly, will you have the money you need to stay retired or do you have to go back to work? Now, Colin Richards and the team at Lord & Richards have helped thousands of people in the Denver area create a happy, independent retirement. Colin is a financial professional who will create your financial independence roadmap for you that will show you the ways to a happy retirement so you can stay retired. Call now, schedule an appointment with Colin and his team at Lord & Richards, 720-636-8829. Get your financial independence roadmap right now. Now, over 200 years ago, we celebrated the first Independence Day. Make every day Independence Day when you're retired, 720-636-8829. Investment advisory services offered only by duly registered individuals through AE Wealth Management, LLC. This is Financial Independence with Colin Richards. Welcome back to Financial Independence with Colin Richards. I'm David Thompson. Colin and his team have been working with folks in the Denver area for a number of years, and you can find out more about him online at lordandrichards.com. Well, we've been discussing inflation and what it means for your retirement nest egg. Now let's talk about ways people can go about protecting themselves and their retirement nest eggs from the loss of their purchasing power over time. Colin, are we helpless against inflation, or are there things we can do to counteract it? Oh, we're far from helpless, David. There's mm-hmm. a, there's plenty of ways we can go at this. Let's start with sources of income that have what we call cost of living adjustments. You might see it show up as a cola. We're not talking about you know the Coca-Cola. talking about the seventies, the yeah. uncola. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we're talking about when we sit down and talk with you, we want to talk about pensions that you may have. Now, I know our listeners, probably only 25 to 30 percent of you are going to have pensions here in Denver. We've got para. We've got other kinds of corporate pensions. Uh, So there are pensions available, law enforcement, military, federal pensions. And one of the most important considerations is before you make an election on that pension, let us sit down with you and look that over and assess the ideal strategy for taking that pension especially when we think of things like inflation. A lot of pensions, David, don't have a cost of living adjustment. And so when we build your financial independence roadmap, we call it, that's the finished product. Mm -hmm. We start at the beginning with the financial independence review, talk about what your needs are, and then we end up with the roadmap. When we do that, we're going to ask you, does your pension have a cost of living adjustment? Does it increase every year? Does it have a feature where when you pass away, your spouse can continue that? Maybe 25, 50, 75, or 100% of that check keeps coming. Well, how do you know what to do? And in some cases, you're offered the opportunity to take a lump sum and just manage it yourself. This can all be very overwhelming. And so we want to help you make a great selection. Pensions are great vehicles that can help fight inflation. Additionally, if you don't have that, almost all of us have Social Security. And the good news is Social Security benefits are inflation adjusted. They have a cost of living increase. It's subject to the consumer price index. And so as inflation increases, your check should hopefully go up. Now, we have another little problem. Sometimes our Medicare premiums go up and eat up our cost of living Mm -hmm. adjustments. Yeah. So we really want to keep that in mind and have additional fallback positions. But additionally, the cost of living adjustment may not reflect everything you as a retiree are facing. It doesn't adequately reflect the rising costs of medical care or maybe housing costs. And those are two categories that do run ahead of inflation. So although Social Security is inflation adjusted, it may not keep up with everything that you have coming in your monthly budget. Right. But we know that Social Security is pretty much the foundation for all retirees, but it's still not enough to live on for most retirees or many, right? And so what are some strategies we can utilize to protect other income sources from inflation? Well, as you said, David, it's not going to be the only source we hope for you. We want it to be the foundation. The average retiree in America is going to see Social Security make up maybe 30 to 35 percent of their normal pre-retirement budget. So what are we going to look at next? Well, there are some additional tools that are tried and true. Dividend paying stocks could be part of an income solution. We use them at Lord & Richards. 
we don't rely solely on them and neither should you because those companies have some risk. So when we quantify the risks that you are willing to take, we call that your risk tolerance. And then the risks that you can really afford to take, we call that your risk capacity after we do your plan. We want to make sure that stock dividends are just a part of the stream of income that's coming to you. Bonds are an additional source of income. You know, we don't get the same style, right, as we do with stock dividends. It's a little different way to get our income. It's interest on that bond. But as long as we hold that bond to maturity, we're guaranteed to get that back, assuming that the company that backs it is still in existence. So again, we've got to deal with a little bit of risk. People will ask me, well, I've got a 401k or IRA. That's a retirement account, right? So I'm good. Uh, well, that's just packaging, right? Think of right. it as the wrapper around what's inside the box. You still got to put something in the box to create income. Sometimes folks will add to dividends and bonds things like guaranteed income annuities, which can be a tremendous tool to bring around even more of that income picture on the guaranteed side. And I tell you, that feels good. When I talk to my clients, the more guaranteed income they've got, so they're not worried about what's going on in the news today and how that'll affect their income, mm -hmm. the better they feel. And studies back it up, David. We have a biannual study done by the University of Michigan and the health department that proves that retirees with more guaranteed income are happier, healthier, and less medicated. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Which, what we're looking for is peace of yeah. mind without medication. That's right, right. Less medication, more vacation. <laughs> there you go. I like that. Yeah. So if having that peace of mind in retirement and not being worried about how the whims of the market and the headlines of the day are going to affect you is important to you, then why not give us a call? I and my team at Lord & Richards are ready, willing, and able to help you just like we have hundreds and hundreds of other folks to get safely up that mountain we call retirement and financial independence. We'll conduct a complimentary financial independence review with you where we'll look at your total financial position We'll look at your goals and we'll give you some great recommendations for what the next steps are to achieve those goals. And you know, you may want to come in and sit in on one of our social security and retirement workshops. We have them going almost every week and they're all through the Denver area. We conduct over 54 workshops a year as a team, just to make sure our community is as educated as possible about retirement. And so if you'd like to learn more about that or our financial independence review process, just pick up the phone, call us at 720-636-8861. Here's the number again, write it down, 720-636-8861. And you can find out our workshop schedule online at lordandrichards.com. Great deal. So Colin, how do you craft a retirement plan that factors in risks like inflation? Well, now you've got to start factoring in other things besides, you know, healthcare costs and some of the things we've been talking about. Now mm -hmm. you've got to have a two-pronged approach that covers the areas of protection on one hand. Mm -hmm. You worked hard for this. You've saved your whole life. Is it time to get careless right here at the finish line when you're ready to retire? Absolutely not. Watch any sports team. When the closer they are to the goal line, the fewer risks they start taking. And, you know, my clients feel the same way, David. They don't want to lose it all right when they're ready to score. Right. And then we got to add to the protection, the growth side. It sounds like I'm contradicting myself because we almost always think that growth vehicles are unprotected and protected vehicles aren't growing. But we actually have strategies and we can put those into your portfolio that mimic what large endowments like hospitals and colleges do with their money to protect and grow it over a longer period. It usually means giving up some liquidity in the short run, but getting what you really want over the long term so that your portfolio isn't lost during periods of market volatility, but it also keeps up with growth during periods of high inflation. So really, I know that like some insurance products and even some annuities offer both of that, where they offer growth as well as protection, which is somewhat of a win-win situation, yes? Yeah, the insurance companies have done a good job in the retirement area of getting ahead of risk. That's what they specialize in, right? Mm -hmm. They want to take risk off of your shoulders. And one of those 18 risks that we talk about that uh, the American College has published is the risk of running out of money before you run out of life. And so what most people do to combat that is grow, but they're doing it in some of the most unsafe ways. Mm. Uh, when you come in, we're going to conduct a complimentary stress test to determine are you taking more risks than you're comfortable with or should be taking? We're going to take that portfolio of yours and we're going to run it back through time 
pretend we're reliving 2008, 2009, or other negative periods, not to be negative, but to simply put it under stress. Well, insurance companies have figured out how to put your dollars into vehicles like annuities and protect them, and yet still give you the opportunity for growth and protection. Now, they're not the only ones. Banks are ahead of this. I often talk about how market-linked CDs were some of the early products that were put out to help people save, protect, and yet still grow. And so since those CDs were developed back in 1987, all the way up till now, there is a multitude, a wealth of strategies that retirees can use to take a portion of your portfolio and get it safe, growing, and then eventually generating that income that you need to keep up. So here's what we want you to do. It's super difficult, you know, to do this on your own. It can be overwhelming. Trying to meet those challenges with a do-it-yourself plan might leave you coming up short when you can least afford to do that and when you're least able to have the flexibility to recover. So how do we do that? How do we balance all this? Well, it starts with wisdom and experience. You know, I could give you a book or an article, <laughs> but how much better, right, Dave, to sit down with those who do this every single day and help retirees just like you, not you, Dave, but the people that are listening. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're still working. Right, right. <laughs> but to help people just like you to get retired and stay retired. We do it all the time. This is our work. This is our focus day in and day out. Give us a call for your complimentary financial independence review. We'll find out where you stand and then we'll help you with suggestions to do even better at achieving those goals. Give us a call 720-636-8861. 720-636-8861. And of course, I would love for you to learn more about us at lordandrichards.com. You know, what is encouraging about you, Colin, is the faith aspect that you also bring to your clients. I mean, you've heard of horror stories of doctors who struggle to express any empathy in their bedside manners. I mean, some are more concerned with the scientific aspects of the diagnosis and treatment of the illness or the injury that they ignore the human aspect right in front of them. In a similar fashion, you are a financial doctor, or really a financial healer. And yes, you understand the numbers and the finances on a spreadsheet, but your faith and your fiduciary responsibilities strive to look at the heart of the people behind the numbers. And that, my friend, is a truly a special gift from God. And we're thankful to have people like you who are helping others to get to that peace of mind in their retirement. So that's an added plus, I believe, for those who are faith-minded. So with that said, the impact of inflation won't take dollars out of your pocket, but it can weaken the value of the dollars you have. So find out tools you can use to work around inflation and its effect on your lifestyle in retirement with Colin coming up when we return for the rest of the show. You're listening to Financial Independence with Colin Richards. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Now, you are endowed by our creator to pursue a life of happiness, but happiness is not guaranteed, not now, and not in your retirement years. Are you going to have the money you need in retirement to visit your grandkids or take those trips that you've always dreamed about? And most importantly, will you have the money you need to stay retired or do you have to go back to work? Now, Colin Richards and the team at Lord & Richards have helped thousands of people in the Denver area create a happy, independent retirement. Colin is a financial financial professional who will create your financial independence roadmap for you that will show you the ways to a happy retirement so you can stay retired. Call now, schedule an appointment with Colin and his team at Lord & Richards, 720-636-8829. Get your financial independence roadmap right now. Now, over 200 years ago, we celebrated the first Independence Day. Make every day Independence Day when you're retired, 720-636-8829. Investment advisory services offered only by Dooley Registered individuals through AA Wealth Management, LLC. This is Financial Independence with Colin Richards. You're listening to Financial Independence with Colin Richards, founder and president of Lord & Richards. I'm David Thompson. If you'd like to talk with Colin, call him today at 720-636-8861. That's 720-636-8861. Now, we've been discussing our longtime adversary, inflation, and chiefly how inflation can take a bite out of your retirement and what you can do to take the teeth out of that inflationary bite. Well, Colin, what's your sense of how well-prepared people are for inflation? 
Well, it's kind of a mixed bag, David. I wish I could say that everybody I meet with was ready to roll, Mm. but so few people have been able to tap into advice that set them on the right path. Uh, What do I mean by that? Well, one of the things we discover is that when we ask people about risk, they may have had a discussion with their advisor, but somehow that advisor always seems to lead them back to the same high levels of risk that they're not wanting. So for example, a client might say, Colin, we don't want to take more than a 10% drop during any future market correction. Can you help us with that? The answer is absolutely. Then the next question is, well, are our investments already set up that way? Unfortunately, they're usually not. And I saw clients this week with an average of 20 to 50%, I say an average, that's the spread of downside results when we ran the stress test. It's shocking. Mm, wow. Sometimes people gasp when mm-hmm. we show them that number because they've had that conversation. Why weren't their wishes honored? Others may just have realized that they had that level of risk and they've taken it knowingly because they felt they needed the growth, but they're coming in saying, Colin, can you help us pare that back down to an accepted level? Another area is healthcare costs. Most are not aware of how much they need to budget for this and are carrying forward a budget that's inadequate to retire on. I find that if I just ask people, what do you think you need in retirement versus sending them a budget to fill out, usually the completed budget that's written down is 50% or more higher in monthly expenses than what they guessed. And most people tell me, wow, that's an eye opener. Mm -hmm. Healthcare costs can be one of those. There's also just the issue of putting together a strategy that will last as long as you do. And very, very few people are prepared for that. Over 51% today are worried they're going to outlive their money. And I would suggest to you, David, even more are actually in a position where if they don't change what they're doing, they may well do that. So, I I mean, if you had certain number of buckets for a retirement plan, it's hard to decide, you know, let's say a short-term bucket, middle-term and long-term goals in terms of your portfolio. But it's hard to decide, okay, how inflation is going to impact all three of those or however many buckets you decide to have. And so how you prepare for that, it's even more important that you have someone like you that could show me, okay, let's prepare for this and prepare for that just in case. I mean, so what other strategies are there to protect and grow your nest egg so that you can help neutralize inflation? Well, I'm glad you mentioned the different sleeves or as some people say, David, buckets for retirement, a lot of people have two. Almost everybody has two. They'll have what we call a short term and a midterm. Mm-hmm. The short term being just what you keep in your checking, savings, money market. We recommend about three to six months of ordinary expenses. So if your budget's five thousand a month, you might want to keep between fifteen and thirty thousand dollars over there. You might argue with me a little bit about that because <laughs> one of the problems is it doesn't grow, but it meets the primary objective for short term money, which is safety and liquidity. And then most people come to me with their 401ks, IRAs, non-IRAs, and it's all positioned in the market, stocks, bonds, mutual funds. So it's got growth potential. It's really liquid. Those are the things that we're looking for in midterm money, but it's probably got way too much risk. And what nine out of 10 people are missing is that third category of long-term money. Mm -hmm. This is money where we shift gears from thinking only about accumulation and growth and getting more to now, how do I make this last? over my entire lifetime and keep up with inflation. You know, you've got the stock market that can be used in there. Unfortunately, a lot of times it's not ideal because of the risks involved. We want our long-term money safe and growing, not at risk and growing. Bonds, yeah, that could be a solution for safety, but a lot of times those don't give us the growth potential, Mm -hmm. right? Without going out and buying what we call junk bonds. It's not like junk food. It just means junk bonds aren't as reliable. They might be tied to companies that have a little more risk. But another option would be to implement other types of vehicles that endowments like hospitals and colleges and family foundations use to protect and grow while still drawing income to meet the needs of those endowments, to fund their grants and to pay for their programs. Boy, retirees are just like endowments. They need a long-term pool of money. Mm -hmm. Even more so with healthcare issues, right? That's exactly right. Obviously, some people will be told to delay retirement. I don't like telling people to do that unless that's the only option available. So if you're concerned, hey, am I going to have to delay retirement to keep up? Let's talk. Let's sit down and visit 
do you have a long-term pool that represents usually for retirees about 50 to 60% of your investable assets? Yeah, that much positioned in safe and growing categories that might be less liquid with the other 40 to 50% positioned in liquid and growing that may have some risk, but it's counterbalanced. If you'd like to talk more about how that works and how we can put together an ideal retirement strategy for you, we call it a financial independence review at Lord & Richards. Preparation is the key, folks. So I want you to give us a call right now and let's visit together. It's complimentary and it's a wonderful time of getting together, talking about your goals and dreams. A lot of times we're bringing couples closer together, David, just in this meeting. (laughs) Here's our number, 720-636-8861. That's 720-636-8861. Well, Colin, you mentioned the the world of stocks and bonds, and what is beyond that? I mean, what else is out there to diffuse the inflation issue? Well, if you're wanting to get that safety growth combination, which is the ideal inflation fighting combination, you know, back when inflation was double digit from uh, the late 1970s to 1981, Mm -hmm. well, coincidentally, the market was skyrocketing. The S&P doubled in that period and the NASDAQ quadrupled. So clearly growth is a great inflation solution. The problem is if you're in or near retirement, the risk involved in trying to get that amount of growth, uh, that may be inappropriate for you. So there are other tools. I've mentioned market link certificates of deposit. Now this is an example because they keep your money safe, just like a traditional CD. You can even get FDIC insured versions of this, but they're designed to trade your low guaranteed interest, trade that in, and have the opportunity to link that CD to the performance of an external stock market index. Crazy, isn't it? Mm. But they've been around since 1987 and endowments like Harvard were early adopters. Problem is you had to have billions and billions of dollars to participate. But today vehicles like this are available for us to use in retirement planning for just average folks like you and me. CDs though aren't the final solution, I would say, they are a possibility for deferring money that you don't need now. Problem with CDs is they're not as liquid. You can get access to your money in the form of the interest without penalty, but usually your principal is tied up for a while. On the other hand, other types of vehicles may allow you more access. There's bank structured notes that are built on this platform. There are life insurance cash values that are built on this platform. I actually had clients who utilize that tool earning fantastic rates of return that would not have been possible without this sort of linkage or framework to the market. And then finally, fixed type annuities have been around for some time that have low or no fees that have the principal protection you're looking for, but also allow you to link your growth and your potential future to a stock market index and do that safely. So what are some additional strategies that maybe we might consider to address inflation that's related to medical care and long-term care. Well, you take those same vehicles I just described, Mm -hmm. CDs really don't have a mechanism for that, but life insurance and annuities do. Annuities that pay out a guaranteed income may double that income or have other benefits if you go into long-term care. But that's not my favorite because a lot of times a client is using pre-tax or IRA money and we really don't want to spend that on our care. Right. I like to implement other creative strategies with vehicles like life insurance. Now, nobody loves life insurance except the guy who gets the check after we're gone, right? Right. (laughs) (laughs) I I like to tell my family I'm worth more dead than alive. (laughs) But they actually have created life insurance now where if you get sick as opposed to dying, you can actually take that life insurance death benefit, which is usually the big number on the sheet, and use that to pay for your care tax-free. So there really are some great opportunities out there that don't involve the purchase of expensive traditional long-term care. That's awesome. So as we wrap up the show, any parting thoughts? Well, you know, we've been talking about inflation Mm -hmm. and here's how you combat it. You get a plan in place, David, a written income plan. And here are the questions I ask everybody. Do you have a written plan that demonstrates on paper with an increasing budget every year to account for inflation that you will not run out of money before you run out of life. And if not, why not sit down and talk to us about that? Do you have a written plan to make sure that you're not taking too much risk? Growth is a great inflation hedge, but it often comes with risk. Let us help you reposition so that your risk is lower, but you still have growth opportunity. And then finally, do you have a written plan to make sure that demonstrates on paper with your budget that normal medical costs, which could mount 
250 to 300,000 over your lifetime as a couple and additional chronic illness costs, which can run as high as 90,000 a year. Do you have a plan in place to make sure that that doesn't bankrupt you? And is it written and demonstrable? Give us a call at 720-636-8861. I'm Colin Richards. I'm president and founder of Lord & Richards. We've got a great team and we'd love to help you right now. You can learn more about us on the web at lordandrichards.com. You can find out about our upcoming events in your community. We have about 54 workshops a year that we'll do. And then you can also just talk to us by giving us a call at 720-636-8861 and learning about our complimentary financial independence review. Here's that number one more time, 720-636-8861. Hey, folks, it's been a privilege to talk to you. Dave and I appreciate the opportunity of educating the Denver area and the Front Range about topics that are most interesting to retirees. How to get retired, stay retired. Let us help you. We'd be delighted to do that. Thank you for joining our show today. You've been listening to Financial Independence with Colin Richards. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Now, you are endowed by our creator to pursue a life of happiness, but happiness is not guaranteed, not now, and not in your retirement years. Are you going to have the money you need in retirement to visit your grandkids or take those trips that you've always dreamed about? And most importantly, will you have the money you need to stay retired or do you have to go back to work? Now, Colin Richards and the team at Lord & Richards have helped thousands of people in the Denver area create a happy, independent retirement. Colin is a financial professional who will create your financial independence roadmap for you that will show you the ways to a happy retirement so you can stay retired. Call now, schedule an appointment with Colin and his team at Lord & Richards, 720-636-8829. Get your financial independence roadmap right now. Now, over 200 years ago, we celebrated the first Independence Day. Make every day Independence Day when you're retired, 720-636-8829. Investment advisory services offered only by duly registered individuals through AA Wealth Management, LLC. Investment advisory services offered only by duly registered individuals through AE Wealth Management, LLC, AEWM, and Lord & Richards are not affiliated companies. Lord & Richards is an independent financial services firm that helps people create retirement strategies using a variety of insurance and investment products. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any references to safety, security, or guaranteed lifetime income generally refer to fixed insurance products never securities or investment products. Insurance and annuity product guarantees are backed by the financial strength and claims paying ability of the issuing insurance company. Lord & Richards is not permitted to offer and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. You should talk to a qualified professional before making any decisions about your personal situation. We are not affiliated with the U.S. government or any governmental agency.